Okay, this guy just should should never play chess again. I mean, with with all due respect, that's that's maybe the worst thing I've ever seen. I, I'm uh, that's probably the worst thing I've ever seen. Take and take and if takes, I take if takes 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 queen e two. Come on! Oh my god! That is why now you resign sometimes. Oh, voila. I didn't even have to make any moves. <laughs> they didn't invent the 13 colony gambit? Yeah, that's that that was pretty poor. What 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 needs to be said? Pretty poor. They lost a bunch of farmers, Keck W. Um, not even a professional army. So bad. Let's play D4 here. Um I guess I'll take with a rook. What about people like Keith Arkell? Doesn't Arkell also like Gambit? So I mean he's he's I, I like his style of play, but I feel like he also likes Gambit. So I just feel like all those guys, Arkell, Hebden, you know, like Nigel, David, Gawain, all these guys, they love Gambits for whatever reason. That's not to say that, you know you can't play Gambits, but it just seems like it's an inherent um aspect of British chess. Now, plays E3, so I'm gonna just swing the rook into the middle of the board and check him right away. Why do I think Italy doesn't have top players? Um, well, I could say something very politically incorrect, but I'd rather just say nothing at all. Let's play G3 here. Uh, maybe D5 next move. Oh, let's just take the pawn. Why not now? Maybe Bishop D2 and castles. I'm up with pawn here. Very, very pleasant. Yeah. No, it has nothing to do with Fabiano. No, I mean, no, nothing to do with Fabiano. Let's go Bishop D2 and castles. They did have when he just switched Federation. Fabiano was not a product of Italy. Fabiano grew up in New York. He grew up here in America, and then he switched Federations when he was about 10, 11 years old. So he does have some European culture of, uh, with, like, chess. But his his origins, like everybody else, are here in America. And I'm just going to sack the queen because nobody cares. This guy's so bad that I can get away with it. Um, but, no, I mean, Fabiano is a product of America initially. So I don't I don't know if you can really say that. D5 here. I've got two ops. Good enough. Okay, and now I will just take the pawn with check, and I'm going to collect the bishop, collect the rook, and it's just a total disaster. This actually, the funny thing is, this might just be winning already. Even takes takes, I wonder what the evaluation was. I mean, his king is really walking a tightrope. I'm going to go check here. Very, very dangerous. Let's go check. I'm just going to castle here. I don't even care about the queen. I'm just going to castle if I can. He's, he's getting checkmated. His king is in the middle of the board. Wait, is there no checkmate here? I don't want to waste 10 years on this move, but... <laughs> he walked into it. Okay, we got the check now. Let's keep going. Ah, uh, yes, a draw. Okay, so let's play the Fred. This is also very disrespectful. Um, oh, he declines the Fred Gambit. He plays E5. Okay. Um, let's go D5, I guess. I think someone should chest breather for the three months. I think someone should chest breather. Appreciate it. Thank you for the three month resub, my man. Wesley is American. Um, I mean, he represents the United States. The flag speaks for itself. I'm just going to play G5 and just steamroll him on the king side now. I'm going for the pure cheese. Uh, let's just play H5 and G4 all aboard the train. Play the character? I'm trying, yeah. Just kick the pony out of town. Let's kick the other pony out of town. It's almost a fish hook, as Forson said. Um, I'm just going to go for the fish hook with Bishop F8. I mean, it's not a fish hook because I didn't sack a piece. But he's still probably getting checkmated here. Let's go check. Maybe not. We'll see. Have I ever met my grandparents from Japan? Uh, I 
when I was very little, I met both my grandparents. Um, I think when I was about 13, I think very briefly, I might have met my, my grandfather, but it was the only time. Um, when I went to Japan in 2017, I did see my grandmother um, very briefly. So let's play H4. I played G3, maybe Bishop H3. Play Bishop G2. I guess I'll go E3 and D3 here. What is that? Okay. So yeah, I, I did, but I mean, I, I saw my grandmother in 2017. That was the only time I saw her because like, I would have loved to have gone back around the time of COVID, but unfortunately, obviously everything got shut down and she died during the pandemic. So yeah, that's how it goes. Anyway, let's play C3. I can play Queen E2 or Castles here and go from there. Um, all pretty normal so far. Let's play Queen E2. I know it's all good, you guys. No worries. It's all good. I mean, if somebody, I think she was, I think she was 90. I think she was 98. Like, I mean, honestly, like if someone lives to be 98, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to like, I mean, it's sad, but it's kind of hard to really be sad. Like, I mean, like, like that's like, I mean, play a four and play Bishop a three. I mean, it's sad on one hand, but I'm just saying if someone lives 98 years, like, I mean, what, what needs to be said? Like, that's a, that's a good long life. Let's play a five. Japanese jeans. Yeah. And she even, she even like, she, she could even still walk. Like when I saw her in like 2017, which was like 95, I think it was 94, 95, whatever it was, she could still walk. Like she would still go out for like a short walk with like a little, little cart or whatever, whatever you call those things. So yeah, but Japan's in trouble long-term probably. There's too many old people, not enough young people. Let's play bishop a3 and hit the rook on f8. It's called a walker. Okay. Take and take with the bishop. Take the rook. Knight g5. Did she live the war? I think she was actually in China before everything went sideways. So, um, but yeah. Anyway. All right. Um, what's what is disrespectful? Okay, this is somewhat disrespectful. J O man. Uh, let's play H six again. Let's go G four and takes. What was she doing in China? I mean, before like you had all the uh, all the stuff happen. I mean, I think I think there were like a lot of people from like Japan and China there, and then around the time of the war just before I wasn't there like there was wasn't there the there was like the whole Japan China stuff um which happened I think was that a couple of years before the before World War II like maybe in like the late 30s I think she was there I, I obviously don't know why but no I think it was like something with teaching something along those lines but yeah anyway oh let's take the juicer take the pawn castle GG's let's take the pawn take the rook castle GG end of story colony yeah yeah eat the rook so I'm hungry let's go back to g7 castle here re-educating the Chinese well we don't need to go into that obviously it's a uh, yeah yeah uh, obviously not a good not a good period in time of, uh, of history uh let's go knight d5 here uh let's check I'll eat the other rook and game over historian Andy yeah uh... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's play a5 this time. Uh, I'm going to play c6. Not that it does anything. I'm going to try to basically take the side of the board here. I'm just going to take all the space here and create another connect five. So just a speed run of trash openings. It's pretty much disrespectful. I'm just being disrespectful with my openings. Yes. I'm going to play f6. I mean, I could go... No, g5 is too... too Let's play h5. I, I can't go g5 because then he mates me. I think there's just dw for the, uh, I guess I'll play d6. Someone said, can I push all eight pawns to start? And I'm coming pretty close. In fact, I'm going to go g5 here. I'll take. Takes. I guess I'll go knight of six. I, I push seven of eight. I can't push all eight pawns. But that's how it goes sometimes. I'm just going to run my king to safety on c7 and then develop. I think it was a shade off for the gift of sub to Napster, Napster version one. Man, Napster is like 
forever ago. Light up the pineapple, sure. All right, let's go 97 here. Keep it simple. I can throw in some bond clouds too. Yeah, definitely. Let's go here. Target the bishop. Maybe take the pawn. What is my mother's side of ancestry? Uh, I'm Swedish. I'm Swedish. Swedish and German on my mom's side. So I'm like Japanese, Swedish, and German primarily. Play Queen H4 here. All right, what's he gonna do? Just talking normal. You you just talking normal like always? Not completely. Not completely. Things are a man doll for the 15 months. Let's go D5. Take the pawn. This guy sucks. I mean, how can anybody just hang the knight on F4 for no reason? Like, it's just not that difficult to not hang pieces for free. Um. Yeah, that's how it goes. Let's play Bishop C5 here. I'm more Swedish than Anna Kramling. I don't... Actually, no, I could be, theoretically, but I'm not. Because uh, she's what? She's like Spanish, right? Because her, her dad is 100% uh, Spanish, I believe. Anyway, thank you so much to Burritos Galore for the 25 months. Thank you so much to Burritos Galore. Appreciate it. I'm terrible at being disrespectful. I know, you guys. I'm sorry. When I start playing like 24, 2500 is further on in the speedrun, it'll be a lot easier. It'll be a lot easier. It'll be a lot easier. Oh, my God. What the fridge is this guy doing this guy needs more puzzle rush um let's play g4 more more grobish although actually rose any kings is starting pretty soon so i'm gonna have to stop this let's go g5 take the bishop or the pawn sorry I don't even know what the pieces are <laughs> okay this guy just should should never play chess again i mean with with all due respect that's that's maybe the worst thing I've ever seen. I, I'm. I, that's probably the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, that that really is probably the worst thing I've ever seen. I've seen blunders, but like to do that on move two, like I I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, that that is probably the worst thing I've ever seen. Like I've seen people make mistakes like that, but to do that on move three of the game, I, I um. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go here. Yeah. Not good. Thanks so much to Enzo to share for the 14 months. Hmm. Unbelievably bad. He saw a chance and he took it. That is one way of looking at it. Yeah, totally. Um... Okay, let's just go here. I don't know. Any anything wins. Any 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 updates? No, no updates on that stuff, you guys. Sorry. Simply put, uh, as as I as I said before, just you know, no comment. That's it. Plain and simple. Um, so let's just trade and go go from there. So <clears throat> he's playing the Botez Gambit. Accepted. Mm, true. Yeah. How much do the glasses cost? Uh, they, these are, I believe, Oakleys. Uh, where did I... Nah, I don't have it here. They're Oakleys. Actually, you know what? I have my other glasses here, so I think I'll wear my other glasses during Arena Kings. I also have these, so I might wear the other ones during Arena Kings. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll just go here. Hit the uh, hit the queen. $100,000? Um, are there actually glasses that cost 100 k what is my IQ? I've told you guys I'm very proud of my IQ. It's a very, uh, very unappealing 109. We took an IQ test, so uh, my IQ is 109. So it's what it is. Sorry. Sorry that it doesn't fit the classic stereotype of chess players being massive geniuses who are living, who are just out of this world. Thanks so much, Big Bionic. Oh, no, sorry. It's 102. Oh, am I confusing the numbers now? Is it 102 or 10? Oh, was it XQC who got 109 and I had 102? Actually, yeah, I think XQC had 109. Wait. Was, did I have 102, 102 and XUC at 109? Is that what it was? I, I can't remember, but let's go F6 here. I had 102. Yeah, if I had 102, then XUC at 109. Correct, yeah. I, I don't know. It was, one, it was one way or the other. I, I don't know. But anyway, whatever. Uh, you're sounding like a 95 right now. True. Let's take the pawn. No, no shot. You're 102. Bad test. I don't know, you guys. 
I don't know. Um. Um. There's really no checkmate here. I'm gonna go here. Try to find a checkmate. One oh nine, no way. I got one hundred thirty-seven. I can't play chess on good level, but you must be like one fifty. You guys, you don't have to be a genius to play chess. I mean, that that's the classic uh, stereotype. Everyone thinks you're some massive genius to play chess. Fun fact: you don't have to be a genius to play chess. That's probably the biggest misconception that, like, I'm amazed that it still persists to this day. Is that everyone thinks like if you play if you play chess like at a high level, you're you're a genius. You're you're not. Like you're you're good at certain things like spatial recognition things of that nature, but you're not a genius. You're not a genius. Now that's disrespectful. True. Okay, I'm gonna go work D8 and go for checkmate in one. He, he got his one check in at least, so that that helps. You are just dumb. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's probably the biggest misconception I've ever seen. And like, on the one hand, it's tough because like for people who actually like teach chess and, and do so of that nature, it's very good for your business. If like, if people think that like, you know, you have to be very smart to play chess or it's like, it's going to make you smarter, things like that. Um, like, it's very good for like the, you know, all the different people who teach chess, like including my stepfather and his, you know, his great quote unquote chess empire, um, as well as like many other groups that like, you teach chess. It's like, you know, parents think like it's good for your kids. You're going to be smarter, all these things. And I mean, obviously I think it helps in some ways um but actually i need to make this a little bit worse than it was um but <laughs> yeah but but where was i going with that so i was saying like so that having that stereotype is actually i think it's good for for chess as a whole that, that like people think that it's like kind of true but it just isn't true i think it's just sappy nutria for the uh for the four months when is this empire listing on the nasdaq right yeah <laughs> Good night, C3 here. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to develop my piece. I, I, I maybe meant to go Bishop E7 and he mouse slipped. I guess not. Let's castle here. The Tour de France is today. I don't really follow cycling almost at all. Arena Kings is stacked today. Okay. Well, I mean, we have time for probably two more games. I'll take a short break and then we will. Um, I'll take a short break and then we will actually play Arena Kings, I think, today. Now I've got the double Bishop combo. So eventually I want to take space in the center somehow. I'm not sure how. Oh, it's oh oh actually you're right. Tour de France in November is wrong. It's always in like May or June, isn't it? Actually, yeah, it's always in May or June. So the good debate. Yeah. May, May, May or June, somewhere around that time. Is it it's July? I, I for some reason I thought it was always, I thought it was going on during the Grand Chester events, which were in like June, but whatever. I mean, I could be completely wrong. Okay, let's go E5, remove the pony, take the pawn, get a checkmate. Oh, wait, play King F8, surprising. It was mate in seven? Okay, I didn't see that, but whatever. Go here. I missed the mate in seven. Sorry, you guys. Bishop G8 is kind of dirty, unfortunately. Let's go mate. There we go. Next game. Play H4. Wayward Queen while you're still, still... Oh my gosh, that's a terrible move. What is this guy doing? Just ruining his pawn structure and justifying my H4, H5 pawn thrust for no reason. Very poor. Take them glasses off? Not, not yet. When I play Arena Kings, I'll put the other glasses on. Um, I guess I'll just play E4. Imagine being a 600 player, player playing chess all day and this happens to you. Yeah, chess is a tough game. What can I say? Okay, let's trade into the end game. Good song.
All right, let me t turn the sound down a bit again. Yeah. Let's go here. Yeah, this is a Six Flags song. I love this song. Oh, is this Mark Esserman's song? Really? I, I mean, I don't know. I don't really watch a stream, so I, I, I'm not aware. Let's go here. The Six Flag guy was creepy. <laughs> True. I'm going to go for a checkmate very quickly. Probably have time for one more game, actually. Is Putin good at chess? I have no idea. I don't... I like Even if he was good at chess, why would I, why would I give a flying fridge? To be honest. Okay, time for one more game. Uh, we will be playing Arena Kings in about seven minutes, you guys. But I'm not. I, I, I'm gonna like play one more game. Wait, what the heck is D5? That's a good move. What the heck? He's playing his opening perfectly. I gotta be very careful how I do this. I guess I'll go G5. He just played perfectly and then he blunders. What the heck? He memorized the first 10 moves, something like that, yeah. Now my rook swings and it's all all very happy times for me. Take the pawn, why not? I'm I'm up what I'm up just a whole piece I guess here. Let's see if I kick the knight out. Let's take the knight. Okay, so we're gonna end this game pretty quickly, I guess. Good check. Hit the king. Should be a checkmate in here somewhere. Yeah, should be a checkmate. Okay, let's take with a rook. Could have taken with a bishop too, I guess. Talking mate. There we go. All right, so we got the win that takes us up to 714. So I'm going to have to stop with the bolt speeder for the time being.